Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, I want to take a look at how we can create some custom health bars for our characters. So this is kind of what we're going to end up with. So let's close this, roll the intro, and get right to it. Now, I have an, a pretty empty project in front of me. I have my single room that doesn't have anything in it, and then we have four different objects here. We have a regular health bar, and most of them will have this stuff here. I'll just kind of explain how everything's set up. Everything is parented to this object bar, and that is just so I have an alarm set that will change the health bar percentage in a couple seconds. We have a create event, which is setting up our maximum health points, the current health points, and then we're using a health points next or HP next, just so we can smoothly transition over time to whatever the next health point is supposed to be. In the step event, we have the current one, and this is where the smooth transition comes in. And then obviously we have the alarm, which sets the next hit point, and we have draw, and all of these will have an empty draw, which is just draw self. So if I look at each one, you can see that everyone just has an empty draw self here. So I'm actually gonna close all these, and I'm gonna close this one and go to my room. And I'll just put the regular health one here, our custom one. So now when I run my game, we should see these four squares. And we don't have any health bars there, but let's change that. So by default, Game Maker currently comes with a regular health bar that we can, we can make work on the fly. So in order for us to do that, we have to figure out a couple different things with our health bar. So let's open up the regular health bar and in the draw event, I'll just do everything in here just to keep things simple. So basically what I need to do is I need to figure out the left and right. So the width of the health bar where we want it to be positioned and then I want to figure out the height. So we can do this with a little bit of math. So I'm gonna create four different variables. I'll call one X1 for the left. And what I wanna do is I wanna take the position of X of this regular health bar sprite. So if we look at the room, it's going to take the middle here and it's going to take the middle because if I go to the sprite player, you can see that the anchor point is set to the middle center. So we're going to take the middle, which is going to be X. And now we have to go all the way to the left side. So we're going to say minus the sprite width divided by two. So that will give us the left side. Let's just copy and paste this and let's name this X2 and then add the sprite width divided by two. So we're going to go over to the right. So this will extend all the way from the left to the right of our current sprite. Now we'll have a variable called y1, and this is gonna be the y position. And let's actually make this in brackets. So let's say the y position, which is the middle, minus the sprite underscore height, because we want it, <clears throat> sorry, we want it to move up. So we'll divide that by two. And now I wanna add some padding into there. So now that we are, if I load up my room, we're pretty much right here at the top. I want to add a little bit of padding above my character. So I'm going to move this up by eight pixels and I can just copy and paste this line and change that to Y2. And instead of saying minus eight, I'm going to move it up a little bit further to say minus 16. So that will give us the padding that we need in order to create that health bar. The next thing we need to know is the amount that we can show. So the amount in the health bar is going to be from zero to one. So we could just add another variable called amount. And that's gonna be whatever our, sorry, our hit points current is divided by our hit points max. And this is gonna give us something like zero point, something like that, or even 1.0. So we need to transform that into a percentage and we can do that either in one line or we could say amount equals amount times 100, or we could say amount times equals 100. Or we could get fancy and we could say, put that first times 100. So we could do it a whole bunch of different ways. Now, the next thing we need to do is actually draw the health bar. So like I said, Game Maker automatically has this function in there, draw health bar. And you can see that we have most of these variables already. We need the left side, the bottom, the right side, and the top, and then the mount. So we've already figured all that out. The back color, so this is going to be the background, and I'll use C black. The minimum color, so if basically what Game Maker is going to do is it's going to have a gradient going from one color to the other. So the minimum color will be red, the maximum color will be green. 
and then the direction will be zero and I'll say why this is zero in a second whether or not we want to show that background and whether or not we want to show the border now let's go back to this zero guy here and this actually comes from the documentation if I load this up and I scroll all the way down the direction here anchor point so if we wanted to go to left to right we use zero right to left is one and then top and bottom is two and three so with that all done let's hit f5 and this hp current should change over time and you can see that it is changing for us and it automatically does that nice gradient so this is the default health bar and with just this little bit of code we can have a health bar on our player so let's move on to the next one and what do i have as the next one here i have this custom one so let's open up this guy i'm going to change the room and let's open up the custom guy so in here for the custom one, what I want to do is I have this health bar custom here. So I have a empty, an empty health bar and then a full health bar. So these are just little blocks that I'm going to draw on that specific sprite. So using kind of the same method, we can figure out how many bars we're going, going to need to code. In the create event, you can see that I've coded the maximum HP as four. So that means that there would be four bars that I'm going to draw. So a couple different variables that we'll need just to make things a little bit easier. I'm going to say what the sprite bar width is, and that's going to be the width of the sprite and it's 16 pixels. And we could do this in code or we could just simply put 16 there. I'm also going to say the number of bars that we're going to be needing is the HP the square max. So this is going to be four. And then the padding in case we wanted to add any padding will be this which is the sprite bar width plus whatever padding we're adding. So I'm just going to have zero for now. So I can just take that out. Now we need to know the left and the top that we need to start drawing this particular bar at. So we can use X, X equals the X position minus the sprite width divided by two. And then the top is going to be the exact same thing as we did before sprite height divided by two and now let's give it a little bit of padding minus 16. so now if we were to load up our room we are going to start right up here on the top left and 16 pixels pixels higher than our player so now what we need to do is we need to use a for statement to loop through the number of bars that we have and determine what we're going to be showing here so we'll say var index equals zero and index has to be less than the number of bars and then we will increase the index by one each time so we're just looping through and we're going to either draw the particular bar or draw it empty so in here we could say if the hp underscore current is bigger than the index remember our hp is zero is either zero one two three or four so if it's bigger then we want to do something and what we want to do is we want to say draw sprite and we want to draw the spr health bar custom and we're going to use the sprite index of one at the x position and y position position that we got above otherwise if it is less than the index which means that it is absolutely zero or it's something something that should be missing we're going to draw the sprite image index of zero so this will be the empty one and then the only other thing i want to do is increase x by the padding amount so with that being said we should hit f5 and hopefully we can see our bars here and they will start changing over time so this will just depend on how many hit points we have. Obviously it's zero to four, and you can see that they transition pretty nicely here. So we'll start off with, uh, or sorry, we'll switch to the next one here, which is the one on the bottom left. Let's go figure out which one that is. So that one is the hearts. So what we're gonna do is we have kind of the same concept that we could do here, where we can have an empty heart or a full heart, but we're just gonna display the full hearts. So all we really need to do in the hearts, let's actually go back to the custom one. Let's copy all this, go to the hearts and just paste it in there. Now we're gonna do pretty much the exact same thing, but all I wanna do is take out this else statement, which means that I won't be drawing anything if the current HP is less than whatever index we're on one, sorry, zero, one, two, three, or four. And I wanna use the hearts 
version and not the custom one. Make sure that you're going to grab the index of one because that is my index here for the full heart. So if I hit F5, we're using the exact same code, but you can see that now we have the hearts and we don't have those empty containers. Okay, so the final one that we're going to be doing is this bottom right one, and we're going to be using a nice little, or I should say a custom gradient. So let's close everything that we have, and let's go to the, um, the inner one. I think that's the last one that we have here. So what we're going to be doing is we have a couple different sprites. We have the health bar and the health bar border. So let's once again... Let me just actually see if I have that in my pace, and I do, okay. So for this one, we don't really need any of this stuff here, but we do need to figure out what is the top left, and then we need to know what is the top, sorry, top left and the top of our sprite. And we'll leave the padding at 16. Now we can get rid of all this here because, well, we're not just gonna, we're not gonna use that for now. But what we do need is the amount, and we could either write it out or we could go back to our regular health bar and let's just copy this line of code here and paste it in. So now we have the amount and let's change this. So we're gonna have the amount between zero and one instead of a full percentage. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say draw sprite and we're gonna draw the extended version of a sprite. We're gonna use the SPR health Bar, let me look here, health bar bar. We're gonna use the image index of zero at the X position and Y position that we figured out above. Then we wanna draw at the scale of X, sorry, the X scale of one times amount, the Y scale of one, zero rotation. We'll do a full color white and a full alpha. Now, the reason that we are doing this particular guy here, we have left this amount in a, in a decimal or a fraction. So that means that if our health was 0.5, well, one times 0.5 equals 0 0.5. So it's just a nice little way that we can quickly do the math to draw that particular sprite. Now, the only other thing that we're gonna do here at the end is we also wanna say draw sprite, and we could just say draw sprite, SPR, health bar, we want the border at the no subframe at xx one so if i hit run let's see what we get here so we have that custom animation going here or i should say custom gradient and it's going up and down now the only thing i want to do is you can see that this one it would fade to red when it gets to a certain percentage like that so let's go ahead and add that in because that's pretty easy to do we could say if the amount is bigger than zero point let's say 0 0.4, that we wanna draw the regular health bar. Otherwise, we're gonna copy this, and instead of saying something like C white, we could say C red, and we can leave the alpha at 1%. And now if I hit F5, and our amount goes below 40%, you can see that it automatically turned to red and then kind of flipped once it was higher than 40%. Anyway, so that is four different health bars, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, I'm glad you made it this far, or maybe you just skipped to the end. Either way, I was asked about the game keys I give away in my videos. I'm not paid to give them away, or are they really used for promotional items. They're just from my own catalog, and I just wanted to share them with everyone. With that being said, here's this video's key, and you can redeem it on Steam. Thanks a lot.